Hey everybody, it's me, Elsa Ray. I live with Baron and camp in our 13 foot scamp trailer. And today I've got something epic I'm testing out straight from the BioLite headquarters, the new BioLite smokeless fire pit. They sent it to us a few months ago, but we've been stuck in a fire ban here in Colorado and haven't had a chance to use it until now. I don't want to give it away too early, but this is the most epic grill I've ever seen. Let me show you. This orange thing is the 38 and a half watt hour battery pack, which operates the fan that pushes the air through the fire pit. The air circulates from 51 of these little air jets, creating a more uniform temperature and reducing smoke from the fire. This battery operates just like the rest of the BioLite stove batteries with four fan levels that help you adjust temperature, but it does not have a tag system. So it does not charge itself like the other stoves, which is a bummer. That's one of the coolest parts of BioLite's other products. Good news is when the fire pit is not in use, you can use the 38 and a half watt hour battery on its own to charge your small devices. The bottom grate is called the fuel rack where the wood goes. If you wanna cook with coals, you can move that grate up to the top and then put the coals in. On top of that is the removable hibachi grill grate for all of your foods. Something that should come with the BioLite fire pit that doesn't is an attractive mountain man to chop up all of your wood. BioLite suggests starting your fire with small kindling like you would in any fire pit, then work your way up to the bigger logs of wood. The fire pit is made to fit standard 16 inch logs of wood and wood larger than 16 inches cannot be hanging out of the top of the fire pit or it won't operate properly. I start all my fires, campfires, my BioLite stove fires with toilet paper. It's cheap and burns quick. I've got some dry twigs on top and light the teepee from both ends. Then I turn on the fan to get the air flowing. Air is one of the most important elements in creating a fire. That's why people blow on their fires when they're trying to get them going. The reason the BioLite fire pit is so epic is it does that for you. As you add more wood, you wanna be careful not to plug up the air jets with too much wood or to clump your wood together like I have here. Like I said, this little baby needs air to grow and succeed in the world, so give your logs and jets some space. As we filmed this video, we were also taking photos. Now, he would never tell you this himself, but Baron is a phenomenal photographer. Tonight, I decided to make some dang quesadillas, sprinkling on some cheese, red bell pepper, red onion, and purple kale, topped with a little more cheese and a tortilla. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm still learning, okay? This thing gets hot, hot heat. The second one was much better. My final review rates this thing as a 10 out of 10 for normal everyday people. Backyards, weekend warrior, camping trips, and glamping trips, this thing is the jam. For full-time scamp life though, it's a solid six out of 10 due purely to its size. When it's just the two of us, we probably would just cook on a skillet on our BioLite camp stove and could make a big fire in the fire ring at our campsites. Also the scamp, you've seen it, is quite small. Too small for things we don't absolutely need. But any average person who doesn't live in a 13 foot camper, you should totally look into these BioLite fire pits. It's a smokeless fire pit, a sustainable wood burning grill top, rechargeable and removable battery. I've never seen a cooler fire pit. Links and more information can be found in the YouTube description below. If you have a BioLite fire pit, leave your recipes below too. I'm a noob at grilling and still need a bunch of help. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.